For the next speaker, we have uh, Terry, and who's going to talk about Mandos. So please introduce, please welcome the speaker. Um, thank you. Uh, I can't see my slides from here, so I'll have to read from the same display as you. Uh, Mandos is something that enables you to use disk, full disk encryptions on your, on your servers, uh, which you should do, probably. Let's see. Yeah, if you use physical or bare metal hardware, uh, and you have more than one physical machine, then you can, you, uh, and you want to use full disk encryption, which you should do, then you should use Mandos because it enables you to do that. Uh, if you don't already use full disk encryption, you probably should. But if the only reason you w wasn't doing that because you couldn't, then Mandos will probably help you do that. Uh, so the problem with running full disk encryption is normally that the po you can't type in the password if the server reboots. But Mandos solved that problem. It's Mandos, uh, run one running machine can send the password to the other machine which is booting up, which needs the password. So if one machine boots, reboots, the, it, the other machine can boot, uh, keep, send the password, and then, and then the first machine can run the reboot and get the password from the second machine. So, so two machines can reboot and still be uh, secure, both of them with full disk encryption. And if both machines are turned off, uh, let's see, dang it. Yeah, and, and the crucial thing is there's no interactivity here. Uh, you don't have to approve although you can configure it to do it so, you don't have to, and normally it doesn't require approval. Uh, yes. It, it's basically invisible while it's, once you install and configure it. It just reboots normally, you don't have to see anything. It's just, it, 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 a password prompts appear and then it disappears. You don't have to type in anything. Uh, and it supports all the normal InitRomFS tools and Dracut both with and without systemd. Both, both are used now in Debian. Uh, the server side is all configured and controllable by Dbus and uh, various command line utilities for control and uh, inspections are provided. Uh, hmm. I thought I had a slide there, but never mind. Let me check here. I think I'm Skipping slide. No, I guess not. Um, there are various uh, objections to, to this protocol because everyone thinks that, wait, isn't that insecure? But no, that, it's actually not insecure. We use TLS encrypted communication with perfect for security. And that, that data that is transmitted is not a clear text password, even though it's TLS encrypted. It's double encrypted because the data that's transmitted is open PGP encrypted. <laughs> So it's quite easy to install. It's been in Debian and Ubuntu for about 10 years. No, maybe five, I can't remember. Many years, in any case. So if you want to just install it, you can just install it from a normal Debian or Ubuntu repository, or you can, you can use our private package uh, index from uh, instructions are on that website. Uh, let's, dang it, I think I skipped some, some slides, yeah. These keys. Okay, let's see. Slides, yes. Uh, ah, here we go. Mandos has a threat model that's pro probably what your threat model is also. Because what you really want to protect from is the, what could reasonably, you could reasonably assume to happen. Like that, that is someone t coming in, taking all your servers and <laughs> running off with them, turned off. And it, if that happens, if you don't have full disk encryption, then of course they can read all your disks. But if you have Mandos, then since both servers are then turned off, the, the disks are fully encrypted and you, you, someone has to some type in password to either one of the servers to get both up. So in that case, that's secure. So in that normal expected case, it's just as secure as normal full disk encryption. Of course, uh, so as, as I said, it, in that case it fails safe. It, it's like it deadlocks both the servers if both are turned off. 
uh, yeah, and if you currently do not run full disk encryption, then you pr pr probably use MAM full disk encryption with Mandos anyway, because that, at least that's better than nothing. And in theory, there is one weakness, because you could, in theory, take one server offline, inspect the init run FS and extract the secret key within a very short timeout, and, and then use that to unlock the other server. But you'd, you'd have to assume very sophisticated get attackers to do that. And if the, your attackers were very sophisticated, you, they could just, just as well do a cold boot attack and read the, uh, the keys directly from RAM. So that's not really what we aim to pre protect against. What we pre aim to protect against is the usual expected attack of somebody turning off both servers and making off of them, with them. And of course, if you want to, you can configure Mandos to require approval for each reboot. So you can, okay, some server wants to boot up, and you have to log in and say, yes, allow this server. You don't have to type in the password, you just have to allow it to boot. And then it's just as secure again. But of course, then you can't reboot while you sleep. And that's the installation instruction, basically. It's very easy. I think that's it. I'm just mostly here because I want to promote awareness that this system exists, because I see many, many people running servers and not using full disk encryption because they think they have to type in the password every time they reboot, which, you know, with remote servers or servers not in their room, you can't do that. But with Mandos, you can. So I'm just putting it out there. This, this exists, and it has existed for like 10 years, but not very well known still. I think that's about it. I think we have time some, for some questions. I was much faster than I thought. I can't hear anything from my microphone. Oh, I don't think this it's working. should be ready. Um, let me come from the others. Oh, yeah. Now I think it's working. Uh, just to make sure that I understood correctly, so if I have two machines and both of them are down, then to start it again, there will be a password that has to be entered, right? Uh, if both but are down. Not, not for every reboot, but if it happens that all the machines are down at the then, same time. Yeah, and you have to pipe so in password for at least one of them. Then yeah, that okay. one can automatically respond with passwords to the other ones. Okay. And that's, uh, I read that said it was GPG encryption. Is that the, is that the way, is that the key? Is this GPG, GPG encryption? We use both TLS encryption for the actual network communication, but the, the thing that is communicated over that encrypted channel is uh, open PGP encrypted data. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I think uh, I saw a question. Uh, thank you for your talk. I have uh, two questions. Mm -hmm. The first one is, um, how do you provision the, uh, the TLS certificates and uh, the PGP keys for the uh, communication? They are automatically generated when you install, and then you manually uh, configure you the system with the fingerprints of, of all the keys. So, but don't you have to copy them or send them to some key server? No, no key servers. You, you just manually copy uh, the fingerprints of the keys to the configuration files of the servers. Okay, and the second question is, um, uh, let's say I have two machines which are in different physical uh, locations, mm. and... Uh, one attacker uh, smash and grab the first one, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't notice that uh, one of my machine disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, can he like reboot it uh, over the network and get uh, access to it by uh, trying to to send some uh, re uh, packets to the over machine, which can send back the password? Well, uh, if he's really really fast, he can do that. But not not normally. There, there's a timeout. But he, the, the, he's shaking his head no here, M Mr. Co-author co here. Tell me, <laughs> why? Local network. Okay. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. it's only on the private network. Uh, normally, the Mandos server and the Mandos client is assumed to be on the same local network. You can manually configure it to 
ask a specific server remotely, but that's not normal, the normal case. But in this case, can we have like something uh, like a, a private, virtual private network, um, like using a VPN like a wire guard or something like that? Yeah, you could do that. You'll okay. have to uh, create uh, some script to, uh, because the Mandos client runs before the ma uh, root the uh, file system is decrypted. You run without y y any specific good system okay. utilities. You have to run, write a script that runs in that environment to take up your uh, VPN and stuff. But we provide hooks for all that. We have scripts. OK, all right. Thank you. Do we have any other question? Ah, OK. Um, for the TLS connection, mm -hmm. do you have client authentication? Uh, client authentication, we check the exact fingerprint of the key. So you, you check it for the server, which I guess is the server that's already booted? Actually, no. We, we're, we're kind of funny that way. We run, run the TLS connection backwards. Climb up here. Uh, we, the, we, the, TL, the, the Mandos client, which wants uh, running, running in the small Linux RunFS environment, which wants the password, is running, is connecting, but is then doing the TLS handshake as a TLS server. So it has a key, which is automatically proven in the TLS handshake to be, I'm ha I have that key. So then the server, acting as a TLS client, check that fingerprints against its database. So, I mean, it's automatically verified by the TLS itself. I see we have time for more questions. Uh, is anyone who wants to ask something? Okay. Um, I have a machine which doesn't have full disk encryption, which is really bad. Mm -hmm. How can I easily migrate it to, uh, to full disk encryption? Like, is there some uh, tooling you provide or is there something which can... We don't provide the actual full disk encryption. The, uh, we use the normal Lux, uh, Linux uh, full disk encryption system. We just provide the hooks, which provides the password at boot time when it needs it. Okay. So if you just convert to normal full, full disk encryption, you, you can then install that and use it. Mandos. All right. No uh, Do we have any question? Uh, we have some time, so. Oh yeah, I don't see any hands, so thank you, Teddy, for the talk. Thank you.